Hey everyone, good afternoon. And today I will show you how to make Chinese noodles as our dinner. And this meal is uh, nutritious and simple to make. Uh, first, let me show you uh, what did I prepare for that. Let me show you some vegetables. Celery, asparagus, carrot, I have a uh, mushroom, uh, tomatoes, and I have uh, some salad vegetable, but I will use it at the last because this kind of vegetable is uh, easy to be cooked. And also I have some beans and egg uh, because we need protein and we don't eat meat that's why I did not prepare any meat but if you like meat you can prepare a little bit of meat too like uh, beef or chicken they all work and this is uh, noodles this kind of dry noodles and first I'm gonna cut the vegetable to get ready Yeah, like a uh, carrot. Yeah, you can cut this to small pieces. So, um, uh, what? How could I cut the vegetable and then? Oh, cut each kind of vegetable. Like uh, this, you can maybe this size. Okay, after you cutting, I can put it into container. Celery. Mushroom You can uh, chop mushroom like this kind of a uh, piece I'll put it here just to separate sort them and tomato And then garlic. So I can use my knife to smash it. And then cut it. Okay, then I will chop all the vegetable. So if you don't have uh, a lot of kinds of different vegetable, it's okay. You just uh, choose um, any kind of vegetable you like. Okay, I I got done chopping all the different kinds of vegetables. Let's see how many different colors do we have. This is a uh, green, white, and brown. Orange, red, purple, and white again. Why uh, I choose eat different or many colors vegetable vegetables? Because 
you can get different nutrition from different vegetables. And if you eat healthy food every day, it can help you have strong immune system. And to, if you have a strong immune system, you will not get sick easily. Okay, now I will show you how to cook it. Okay, first so let's heat up the stove. You might need to wait for maybe 30 seconds. You can count from 1 to 30. It means 30 seconds. And the pot will be hot. Until the pot is hot, we put some oil in it. So, uh, usually I would not use a lot of oil because this is dinner. If you use a lot of oil, my, the food might be oily. It's not that good for you for dinner. Okay, I'm waiting maybe uh, 10 seconds. You can count from 1 to 10. And then the oil will be hot. Now we'll put garlic in it first. So you can smell the garlic fried in the oil. It smells really good. So what's the next one? Oh, I can put uh, mushroom and carrot in it together. Fry it a little bit. Because uh, if uh, you put, if you fry the carrots a little bit, you can make the carotene, carotene of the carrot comes out very, very well. And then you can get enough nutrition from the carrot. Okay, uh, until the carrot and the mushroom become softer and then you can smell it very well. And right now I'm going to put the tomato in it. I will wait for tomato, soft and the juicy. Now you can see the tomato becomes uh, very soft and juicy. And the last step, I put all the green vegetable in it. So you don't have to fry that long, just uh, mix a little bit. Okay, I put all the vegetables in the pot and fry it a little bit. Now I'm gonna put a little bit soy sauce. Okay, then I put some water in it. Make sure you have enough water to um, uh, to have a lot of noodles for your family. Uh, usually I put this much water in it and right now I need to cover, cover the, the pot and the wait for the uh, vegetable got cooked until boiled. It's kind of like we are making a vegetable soup. Now I will show you how to uh, cook the noodles. 
So before, uh, after I done chopping the vegetable, before I start making the vegetable uh, soup, I can cook noodles first. Like I put some water in the pot and boil the water. How could we tell the water is boiled? We can say the bubble. Do you say the bubbles? And right now means the water is ready. So I will put the noodles into the hot water. Uh, yeah, you can choose uh, how much noodles you want to cook. Make sure it's enough for your family, or for your dinner, for your lunch. Okay, after you, uh, 10 minutes later, the noodles uh, is cooked. Uh, 10 minutes, you can count from 1 to 600. And uh, when you cook the noodles, please make sure you stir the noodles very frequently. Uh, very free, stir the noodles frequently to make sure the noodles would not stuck on the bottom of the pot. Okay, noodles stuck. Now let's see the soups. Vegetable soup is boiled and uh, cooked. And the last one thing, we put noodles in the soup. We put this vegetables in the soup. We put the beans in the soup. I put the beans and the last uh, salad vegetable in it so I need to put the egg in it you crack the egg into a container and we stir it just pour the egg in it you can count from a one to 60 and this will be done. The egg will be cooked pretty quick. And after this, put a little bit of salt. And this uh, sesame oil, it will make the noodles smell so uh, really really good and now my Chinese noodles done and turn off the I got done my uh, Chinese noodles cooking so I hope you will like it and try to cook with your daddy and mommy or any families I have three questions to give it to you first what do you need to do for cooking Chinese noodles? Second, why should you eat nutritious vegetables? The third one, what kind of a noodles dish would you like to cook for your family or with your family?